Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now June 5th of 2023. We are moving along quite smoothly until the Ahsoka Tano series reaches on Disney Plus by the late August window. We're not quite sure exactly what the release date is, but they are aiming for the final week of that month. That's really going to be the opening for the Ahsoka Tano series leading into September, where the buildup of the series is really going to actually begin. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And without wasting too much of your time, let's get right into the overall subject here. Now, we know that characters out there like Din Djarin and actors like Pedro Pascal have been very much valued by Disney and Lucasfilm for The Mandalorian and especially by Jon Favreau. We got to remember that Favreau is a very valuable filmmaker. He is the guy that literally created the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We can't forget about his creation of Iron Man back in 2008. He kickstarted everything. It was all Jon Favreau that made the MCU truly possible. And when you look at how he was also the pioneer of making the first live action Star Wars TV show with yet again, another very original character such as Din Djarin. Now, one thing that has been going on for a while and that has been pretty much a very big conflict over at Lucasfilm involves the whole Pedro Pascal situation that has happened before in the past and that is still currently happening to this day. However, with Pedro currently in a shakeup with Kathleen Kennedy after what she did with firing him from Skeleton Crew for cameos of Din Djarin, one of the past plans that failed recently got a new development that has surfaced. Now this was the phase in which Carl Urban, the actor, was replacing Pedro Pascal for a time as Din Djarin from Mandalorian Season 3 back in May of 2022. Carl was chosen to replace Pedro Pascal by Kathleen Kennedy for a helmetless scene as Din Djarin after he was approached by Kennedy after problems were arising between Pedro and Kathy that remained quiet for a while. Now, Urban surprisingly was said to have accepted this role and was even questioned about it in the media and was forced by Disney to completely deny his role of stepping in for Pedro Pascal and wanting to step away from many of the scenes on the set of Mando Season 3 in which he did in the long run due to personal reasons and scheduling conflicts as well. So let me just pause here quick. So Pedro did step away from a lot of scenes for Mando Season 3, where he did have stand-ins, you know, using the suit, acting on set physically, and that, of course, had a lot to do with personal reasons and scheduling issues, most likely for a lot of his films that he's been working on. Now, the thing about Carl Urban is very surprising, because we know that throughout the year of 2022, and we even talked about this, that he was getting set up to replace Pascal for what was being set up for, at the time, the Bo-Katan series. And as it turns out, the Bo-Katan series actually got shifted and moved over, a big part of it at least, into the Mandalorian season three itself. It's why the series focused so heavily on Bo-Katan. So that makes a lot of sense now. But ultimately here, Carl Urban did choose the role. He was specifically told by Disney to deny any kind of involvement about stepping into the role as Din Djarin. This is why he denied this and said, that's a crazy thing, I've never even talked about that, etc., etc. Kind of similar to what you McGregor was supposed to say, how he was actually forced to lie to fans for three whole years about how he thought it was absurd that he would ever even be approached by Lucasfilm to come back as Kenobi, where really he was. Now, to the next thing here, now, specifically, Urban was about to have a big moment in which he would unmask himself as the new Din Djarin, replacing Pascal for the final episode on Mandalore in Season 3 when fighting Moff Gideon, where his helmet gets knocked off by the Darksaber. In general, the main reasoning why eventually Carl Urban stepped away from this role is that actress Katie Sackhoff was getting many scenes in the series more than expected, and Urban didn't want to get involved with her on set and wanted to avoid awkwardness. 
Now, this was all due in part to their past relationship that they were in for a little while that didn't work out and Urban didn't want to make things conflicted or awkward on set that would impact his acting. This was the main reasoning why he turned down the offer as Din Djarin in replacing Pascal. Pedro was aware of Carl's offer and fully supported this through and through, surprisingly, and had no grudges at all. With all of that was Kathleen Kennedy and what she was actually going through at the time. Now, she felt that Urban was the best stand-in, however, for a face reveal of Din at the very end. Now, ultimately, what happened is that Kennedy had a change of heart. She eventually didn't want to have any face reveal for Din Djarin in the long run, so this wouldn't have worked out anyways, even if Carl had signed up for this role. Now, look, when you look at stuff like this, when you have an idea provided by Kathleen Kennedy that only created more issues on set and for, you know, production-wise for the overall series. I'm not quite sure if John and Dave really advocated this. I'm not sure about that. But one thing that we do know is that Carl Urban was specifically instructed to deny, deny, deny by Disney about any of this. And what really surprises me is that what really knocked him off was the rise of Katie Sackhoff's and her role as Bo-Katan and her screen time. And it was gonna be very awkward for him. I can understand that. I could see where he's coming from. It would have made his acting limited. It would have felt very odd for him to do that. And I get that. They hold no grudges between each other, by the way. He just felt it would have been very awkward. So again, the fact that Pedro even admitted a couple of weeks ago that he didn't really have as many scenes as originally intended on set just goes to show you that there are a lot of actors that fill in for his role as Din Djarin where Pedro is not even there. He's just doing voiceover work and this is also what led to a lot of issues with Skeleton Crew and why Pedro was fired from really giving his cameos for Din Djarin. It also had a lot to do with the fact that there were creative issues in that field as well. Kathleen Kennedy wanted to kill off the character. Disney stepped in. They prevented that after he was let go. And another thing is that John Watts and Kathy wanted to comedic, add more comedic value, I guess, to the character, right? Kind of marvelize Din Djarin. And it was not something that Pedro wanted to do. He felt that was really destroying the character. So look, I mean, this is another interesting thing that we can obviously see that is yet another prime example of Kathleen Kennedy creating more setbacks and issues on the set over at, of course, Mando season three, for example. She could have really prevented this whole shakeup, this whole issue, had she just allowed Pedro Pascal to have a face reveal in the end, where eventually Pedro wanted nothing to do with that because he wasn't being paid more for a face reveal. He wanted a rise in income for taking the helmet off. And once he disagreed with even doing that without getting a rise in pay, that's when she looked to Carl Urban to step in for that role as a, as a very small cameo of Din Djarin, you know, helmetless. So anyways, guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.